So I began my UFO uh, exploration journey in Monterey. Um, so here I saw the Goodyear blimp flying over, so I decided to just take some pictures. I wasn't really looking for uh, any kind of uh, UFO uh, activity up there, but it turns out um, there was, there are things in the sky. So you'll take a look here uh, at one of the following pictures that I took. It's this weird little object up there that uh, I didn't notice it until I, I started looking at the pictures a little closely. So it's not a bird. It's kind of I try to zoom it in as best as possible so you'll see what it ends up. Yeah, looking like a. I'm not sure what that is in the middle, but it's kind of dark in the middle with like spikes on the edges. So I'm not sure if anybody's ever seen something like this. Um, not sure if it might be government or some kind of UFO. You guys can take a look at some of this, um, some of this footage here. There was a strange, uh, it looked like a military plane. It's kind of like just gliding through, but, um, it's weird that it would fly like in weather like this, but uh, I'm not sure what kind of, they might have been doing some training, but it's kind of weird. Like, could have been like some kind of spy plane that they were um, working on or something, but this is kind of weird so you guys could take a look at that. So the plan was to head over to Area 51, or not in Area 51, but you know around um, Area 51 and try to see if I could catch any um, UFO activity. But here, as I was heading up there, um, this is near Tacopa, um, you see my finger. I was trying to point at this, I was seeing something come in and out of the cloud, so I pulled over. And right now you guys will see, this is, pretty weird because you can't see it uh, with the naked eye you have to uh, put a filter on the picture well I took the picture uh, the still picture of the this, this is a video here but because um, I was trying to catch it on video but you couldn't see it uh, but you'll see right now as I take pictures of it so it was, I saw something moving that's why I, I decided to move over so here we're about um, about I'd say three maybe three and a half hours from uh, area 51 so uh, you know it's it's a big sky so things could be anywhere so here's the uh, photos i took of that same uh from that area you'll see right now So here you'll see this little object. So you can't see this uh, with just the naked eye or the video. You have to kind of put a filter on it, see? So if you guys look in that same area uh, towards the center, yeah, I'm gonna zoom it in right there. So you can't see, there's nothing there. So it just kind of makes me think uh, some kind of cloaking, I'm guessing. So I did notice a lot of military activity. You'll see right now, I took footage of, uh, well, this is a dash cam. You'll see a couple of convoys coming through. Now, I usually go through this area and I, I've never seen this many uh, convoys come through um, in a short amount of time. So I'm not sure if it was just a regular exercise or they were headed somewhere. Maybe somebody uh, knows what Maybe something in that area could probably give us more insight on 
what happens uh, with the military if this is something common or it's something something weird uh, but who knows I didn't see anything in the news and uh, it's kind of hard to tell because sometimes they're not supposed to be sharing that kind of information So that night I did see some strange uh, lights in the sky. A lot of it I'm sure was military, but then you had, or uh, maybe commercial planes, but you kind of see, you know, cause they fought, you know, most commercial planes and even military planes follow, uh, you know, a flight, flight path. But some of these were just going back and forth. And so uh, he, here I'm pretty close to, uh, not in area 51, but I'm, you know, maybe 45 to an hour away from it. Um, it's just the hills that so there's a lot of hills and mountains that surround uh, Area 51. So, but I did notice these strange uh, lights, uh, these uh, planes or crafts. I don't know what they were, but they're going back and forth. So I'm not sure if they were just patrolling the the, the area or if it was actually something strange they weren't moving really fast so I'm not sure if they were UFOs there were some bright lights that were you know blinking because we know that the regular planes have uh, the you know the blinking lights so I'm not sure but it, it uh, just the strange part about these lights were that they were just kind of going back and forth you know not really following the flight path here it is at night it was really really dark here there was, um, I took a few still pictures. Um, I wanted, you know, to do a time lapse of the sky. I did get some uh, some weird glares, you know, and when I took uh, some of these pictures. And uh, so here you'll see a few night sky pictures. You guys will see the time lapse, you see that. Um, so those aren't shooting stars, they're actually just kind of like planes going past, you know, with the time lapse on. Now, if you see the direction they're flying in, it's towards Area 51, because I was on the on the you know opposite side of Area 51. So all these planes are flying towards it. So I'm thinking commercial planes aren't allowed to fly over. So here's just a weird when I did a time lapse. I'm not sure why it showed that. It could have just been uh, camera movement. So here you'll see the time lapse of the stars going by. You'll see uh, the plane there. They'll, you know, they do the blinking lights every couple of seconds, so you'll see the time lapse of that. So it was kind of, it was cool to see uh, some of this time lapse. You see the, all the stars, because, uh, you know, I'm out in the desert, so you see a, a ton more stars. Yeah, I recommend anybody wanting to go out and see the stars go out there, you see much more than in the city. Here is the. Uh, Lips of the night sky. You guys can see the stars. Well, if, I guess if you kind of fast forward, you'll see you can see the stars moving a little faster there. But the strange part was those those planes. You know, the the flight path headed towards. See, like that one there. It's headed towards uh, Area 51. So not sure what if those were military planes. I'm sure they're really high in the sky, so a lot of activity going on. So I was, what I was trying to do is just trying to catch any kind of weird lights in the sky or weird movements. You know, having the time lapse, it would probably catch it. And um, 